Baby, you can't tell me somebody didn't poison me. Like, I feel like somebody poisoned poison me, but I ain't gonna go into it. I ain't gonna go into detail, but you couldn't tell me that uh, I, I wasn't poisoned because it just, that's what it got. Previously with Peyton. Why they pack this in here like this? And why are people still doing outside sales and door to door? See, making doing it made my damn ponytail. Cause I mean, what are you looking at, ma'am? Whoa! Hello. I'm hot. What? Thanks very much for the compliment. Be sure to get all caught up on the vlogs and let's jump into today's vlog and see what's going on. So listen, the math is mathing and I'm skinny as hell. So I am getting ready to eat me a factor meal because listen, I've done the math. Factor is less expensive than takeout in every meal. It's dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. So you know I'm gonna keep my fridge stacked and stocked with factor as well as these factor shots. I love them because they're tasty and extremely healthy. Now, whether you are looking for options like keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and more, there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition packed ads add-ons that help make your weekly planning even more delicious so what are you waiting for get started today and have a feel good week of meals ready to go so like i said it is easy to sign up all you have to do is head over to factor75.com or click the link below and use code peyton50 to get 50 percent off your first factor box and free wellness shots for life yes for life and thanks again to factor for sponsoring today's video Welcome back to another vlog. I am not sure if this is gonna be a living in Dallas vlog or a weekly vlog. It's gonna be one of them, honey. But yeah, we have been like chilling in the house all day. This is one of them flow days that like where you feel like you off and then it come back full force with the cramps and everything. So I just been chilling, but if you're a Pisces out there, happy birthday to you, sis. It's our, it's our birthday every day this year, period. Because, you know, this is like the the season of the Pisces. This this year, 2024, is like the season of the Pisces. Somebody told me it. I'm going to have to read up more about it. But, yeah, I just did my hair. I felt like it was oily and dirty enough to where I could, you know, cramp it and put some waves in it and it will hold so i don't got no holding spray on it or nothing and i love crimps with a side part it's so pretty yeah i was like let me get out of bed and do some try to put myself together i was gonna go out and get drinks put on a little you know a little sundress you know a little sundress and get cute and take myself out to lunch tomorrow or something like that because we have to celebrate ourselves and this food smell good. It better smell good. I'm heating me up a factor meal. You know how I do. This video might be sponsored by Factor. We shall see. But 
If not, I'll cut this part out. I'm eating tonight shredded chicken and loaded mashed potatoes. I was on the phone with Courtney, honey. We was having a little, we was having a real talk, girl. And, you know, I don't know what's going on with March. You know, I don't think I have ever, ever experienced a retrograde in March. Retrogrades generally be like in January, February. They saying it's going to be in April. Baby, it's giving, it's a retrograde going on right now. And I, I don't know if the planets in, in the solar system, I don't know if they know about it, baby. But if I feel it, I feel it because, oh, the way I've been wanting to say, man, fuck Marge. But I, I would never say that. I would never say that. Because I don't play about my birthday. And I don't play about my birthday month, okay? But, damn, it's good. Do I got another one? I just did my hair in these crimps, honey. These I put some waves in it with the side part because I feel like, okay, I've been wearing it straight. It should be, you know, not dirty enough, but it should be, you know, have a, a, lot, a lot of like natural oils from my scalp because I oil my scalp real good. So it should be in a state where I could wave it, put waves in it and crimp it, and it, they'll stay without holding spray. Cause I really don't like putting a lot of product on my hair. Cause I don't sleep when I do glue the wig down. I don't sleep in a bonnet. So did all that stuff get on my face and you know what I'm saying on my pillowcase and stuff like that. But I just really been trying to like get pretty and stay pretty every day this month. Cause when you do yourself up and you look pretty tap into your self care and all of it. You feel pretty, you feel good, it make you feel good. You know, make you wanna, damn, I look good today. Let me put some clothes on and go outside. You know what I'm saying? If you look gloomy, you end up feeling gloomy. You feel gloomy, you look gloomy. Feel depressed, you look depressed. So I've been trying to put effort into my appearance and just making sure that I like look pretty every day because it's my birthday month. You know what I'm saying? And my birthday is every day. Like if you're a Pisces, your birthday every day. Even if it's already passed, if your birthday was a seven, baby, your birthday today too. Happy birthday. Yo. That's why they say happy belated birthday because you can celebrate your birthday as long as you want. Mm -hmm. Today my birthday. My birthday technically ain't a Tuesday, but shit, it's today too. So if a motherfucker act up with me, oh, you disrespectful. Cause today's my goddamn birthday. And you this how you acting on my birthday? Bet. I made me a factor meal and it's fire. When I tell you it's fire, this is the shredded low, this is a shredded chicken with loaded mashed potatoes. Y'all, this so damn good. It's another one in here. I'm gonna ask Karen do she want it before I eat it. Cause this is a good one. I like this one. I was gone. Go out and have me some drinks. It's Friday. But I decided not to because it's already late. Everything closed at 2 here and shit. By the time I finish getting ready, it'll already be like and, and arriving out the alley. It might be 1 o'clock. And where I would probably go is Moxie's. And I think Moxie's closed at one fifteen. So I was just going to go get cute and have me like 2 or 3 French 75s. Well, three, somebody would have to hold my hair and I definitely wouldn't be able to drive home. So maybe two. Damn, I smell like a rich bitch. All right, hey y'all. Y'all smell so good. I've been wearing Ambrosia Imperial layer with tuberose Austrial every day, y'all. It smells so good together. Oh. Especially when you uh, bathe in the Boom Boom Cream and the, you know what I'm saying, the four plate. Yes, it smells so good. So I got on this red dress from Zara and I finally am wearing my Fendi shoes. So let me show y'all what I got on. Okay, outfit of the day. This dress is from Zara. Real cute, real simple. Bam. Put the Fendi 
shoes on that I literally never get to wear. So I finally found a red dress that goes and complements the shoe. And I'm wearing my Fendi bag. So we got Fendi all over the body, okay? Fendi necklace, Fendi bracelets, Fendi rings. Fendi all over the body. But, yep. Yeah. Ready to go on a lunch date. Because it's my birthday. And I deserve cream treatment from everybody. I can read your mind, babe. I know what you're thinking. And it's alright with me, baby. It's alright, yeah, yeah. Just me and you right now. I got an idea, baby. Yeah, I've been singing this song for the past three hours. I know you wanna run that part right there. I know you wanna rub, I know you wanna touch, I know you wanna feel, so baby keep it real. I know you wanna see, I know you wanna be in my B E D, grinding slowly. I know you wanna rub, I know you wanna touch, I know you wanna feel, so baby keep it real. I know you wanna see, I know you wanna be in my B E D, grinding slowly. I got my KAB lip glosses in the mail. Let's see which one this is. This is like a, this is a tinted lip oil, kind of like a, a little rosy. We gonna go with this one cause I just want a little tint. Oh, they so thick. Oh. You really don't get like a lot of tint though. Am I tripping? Like you really don't. I was expecting this to be like hella red. You know what I'm saying? But like, not hella red, but like, you know what I'm saying? But whatever. And I got other colors as well. Let me show you which ones I got. Damn, did they ship them from different people or something? Cause one, some packaging is a little bit better than others. So I got, this one, which is Sweet Emotion, it's a nude gloss. Then this one is Centerfold. I probably should have put this one on. This one probably would have been a little bit more pinker. And then this one, which is probably the brown. Well, maybe the brown one is coming tomorrow because I bought like four like pinky colors. Because, you know, when I do my just natural looks you know i just like lip gloss and lashes and a nice flush to my lips okay yeah this is the brown one this is notorious now i know this one is gonna look brown on my lips but i don't know i'm feeling like this one should be more pinker let's try it out these are thick as hell nope so yeah, I just got pink lip gloss that really doesn't tint my lips. I'm getting ready to go and get me something to eat. In a true food kitchen, I want some soul food. I want some candy yams. and So I just got on this Gym Girl Era jumpsuit. Y'all see how skinny I am? I am 129 pounds. And I have on the Komodo, which is from a Pretty Brie makeup artist, her line. I have it linked in the description box. This is her Komodo and her brand. So, yeah, I wanted to get vacation vibes. I don't even know what it feel like outside, but, I guess I sprayed on too much perfume. I could taste it in my mouth. But yeah, I just wanted to give vacay vibes <sighs> pre-birthday. Um, 
I should get some errands done while I'm out, like get my underarms waxed and get a Brazilian and all of that. But I don't know, something just makes me want to do all of that on my birthday. I mean, my birthday is on a Tuesday. I don't really have anything planned besides dinner. So might as well do it all tomorrow. It is what it is. My Auntie Joyce got me a card and yesterday while I was at the mall, no, this was Saturday. Saturday while I was at the mall, I went in Versace and I bought a new, one of their niche fragrances. This is Atelier Versace and I bought Gingembre Patillant. I don't know how to pronounce it y'all like I'm gonna have to Google it, but it smells so good. They had like three that I really, really liked. One smelled very close to Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And honestly, I have a fragrance that I'm working on that smells a lot like Lost Cherry. So I'm kind of trying to like reformulate it so it doesn't give Lost Cherry initially. But when I tell you on the dry down, it turns into something so euphoric where you just like, you just can't stop smelling your freaking wrist. It smells so good, y'all. So be on the lookout. It's coming soon. We're still working on the bottles and whatnot, whatnot. But it's coming soon, girl. So no worries about that. And what I'm wearing today is B683 Extra Dites. I remember when I first talked about that perfume, baby, I sold it out, okay? Um, you can still get it, so I will link it. You can get it from Tw Twisted Lily and also The Scent Room, so I have it linked in the description box. This is my second day wearing it. I had it on yesterday, and oh my God, when I tell you it don't, y'all, I woke up this morning still smelling it on my skin. I got in a shower and still some this when I when it when it says extra, it's it's very strong. Like it lasts. It's so good. So yeah, let's go and get some food because your girl is skin tea. Wow. Like after this, we're gonna go to an African grocery store and get us some more appetite syrup. Cause what? to eat yeah girl i got on the scale this morning and it said 129 now i'll give it that is a body analyzer scale so it do be a little off um it's always gonna tell me i'm skintier than i am um but it's only by a few pounds like i have a whole nother scale downstairs that gives a more realistic weight um and it, but it is not analyzing like my muscle mass, my water, all of that. It's just weight. I got on a fucking body analyzer this morning. That motherfucker said 129. Oh, the depression that came over my body immediately. That came over my soul. Now you weren't supposed to do what you just did. You better be glad you didn't hit this core. Because baby, we are fully covered over here and I would have took everything you got. But yeah, I'm in the mood for some soul food. I want some of their candy yams, they collard greens. I think they got good macaroni and cheese too. Shit, I could just do all sides, but I kind of want some some catfish too. I kind of want some of them everything, child. This like this just one of them days where shit, I might just order up some shit and eat it later on too, cause. I am hungry. I ain't gonna sit here and say I ain't got no appetite. It's just I done had a lot of shit on my mind this month. It's been, it's been a bit much this month. So, I have been staying in my bed longer than planned. Maybe by the time I get out of my bed, it'd be like in the middle of the day, like 3, 4 o'clock. And I, I wouldn't have eaten anything. And um, I forgot what it's called. But when my body rests, it burns more calories than when I'm like walking around and doing stuff. So I could sit in my bed all day and lose two to three pounds every day. Not in, not eating. Yeah. Some people would say I'm very blessed, but shit. You can't have too many. I, I can't have too many sad days. Bitch gotta get up and get out, get active, do something, cause I get on the scale and been lost 10 pounds in a in five days. Can't have it. Alright, Georgia Beast 
say, by the way. Um, That's our frozen fish juice soy taster. So it's one of the things that are in the latter man. I'm going to give you the other two. So it's going to be all three of them that I'm going to give you that come from the latter Oh, okay. I really like that. Yeah, it's, our, it's, it's, a, it's a hot favorite. It's really good. Would you rather have the fish juice and it comes in a nice cute little bottle? It comes in a nice, nice cute bottle. Yeah, it comes in a fish. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna taste all of them too, though. All of them. Okay. So what you doing on YouTube? I'm lifestyle, beauty travel. Where you usually travel to? Everywhere. Good morning, it's my birthday. I have gifts to open. As you can see, I have some flowers from 1-800-Flowers here from Ray. He always gets me these beautiful flowers and I have a special place to put them. I'm, wait I'm gonna put them right there in the corner. More flowers, wow. Oh, these are from God's son. A happy birthday, beautiful. May God continue to bless and protect you in all the years to come. I'm very thankful to call you friend. Wow, I've been blowing up, y'all. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Who is this called? Oh, I got so many flowers. But we are starting the day with the insurance. I need to be drinking these and eating nothing but mashed potatoes and baked potatoes. Okay, we have a card. Have a very happy birthday from Ray. May God continue to abundantly bless your life with great health, unconditional love, eternal happiness, and constant prosperity. I love you to the moon and back. Love, Ray Anthony. I love you, Ray. You know I love you. You know I love you, honey. Because one thing about it, my friend gonna give me some flowers, honey. Stop playing with me. Y'all see how skinny I don't get, baby? I don't get so damn skinny. Skin me at the devil when I look in the mirror. Don't have our app yet? Download it today for a smooth, seamless experience. Man, you know what? Fuck them. I done called European Wax four times and they pick up and immediately put me on the little thing and never pick up. Bet. Let me go ahead and cancel my membership. It's this, um, I want to say it's like a sugaring spot um, here over on Oakland. 
I passed by the other day so I'm gonna walk in and see if they'll see me cuz I, I literally I don't have that much hair y'all it's more so the hair under my arms and I really don't want to shave so I'm gonna go get sugar I ain't been sugar in so damn long sugar hurts so doggone bad because they don't stop you know what i'm saying when you get sugar they just keep snatching the hair out they using it like real a little ball of brown sugar or whatever sugar it is and they just keep snatching the hair they don't they don't stop so you don't have a moment to rest they just keep rub swipe rub swipe rub swipe rub swipe and <laughs> girl you have to be in a, a certain headspace for to get sugar because sugar sugar and hurt but I'm about to go over here because the place look cute it's real nice and i'm gonna see if they'll let me walk in and do that because i don't have anything planned today like today i'm winging it for my birthday so i'm walking in everywhere i'm gonna walk in and go get my toes on because somehow my french pedicure got messed up last night and i really want white toes even though <laughs> Even though uh, Suki with the good coochie said white toes mean you like to get nutted in. I mean, I mean. And I'm white. I started with white toes like you. Oh. I was there. That right there means that you like to get nutted in. That's why every girl that gets those white toes, they say, oh, yeah, he want to get me pregnant. White toes going to get you pregnant. No, you just like getting nutted in. And it's okay. I do too. Baby, when I tell you I hollered. That was probably Bobby's funniest. That I'm gonna I'm gonna say go ahead and say that was her funniest podcast. Cause I've watched the one with um Offset, I've watched the one with Lil Yachty, and I watched the one with Drake. All three of those were funny, but I'm gonna say Suki, Suki was super funny. I feel like Suki really got her out of her element because I feel like Bobby has very dry humor and she tries to keep a straight face even when she's being funny. Suki brought it out of her baby that one was funny as hell that one was super funny so if you haven't watched it I would definitely say go and watch it because you're watching it for Suki Suki a Scorpio and I'm, well, I'm, I, I would definitely say Scorpio women are funny like that like I don't feel like Scorpio women are funny than Pisces women because baby we are the comedians of the, the zodiac okay but oh, okay, I'm gonna say Aquarius funny too because my home girl Brie pretty brie makeup artist brie funny as hell baby brie is hilarious and she's an aquarius that rhymes brie super funny i be it be nothing but laughs when i'm around brie love her so i didn't say aquarius funny because my ex he an aquarius and he funny as hell too like we we have a good time when we would be around each other so anyway <clears throat> yeah we gonna pop up over here and see if they'll take your girl as a walk-in or whatever and if not, y'all, I don't know. We might be shaving. Okay, all done and y'all it didn't hurt at all now i will say disclaimer i did not go in there on wolf and looking like i had buckwheat in the headlock no she already maintains honey um but even then the hair that i had when i looked at it it was like you know straight and it was it was hair now it just wasn't wolf i'm sorry if there's too much information 
but it was not painful at all as opposed to like getting uh getting hard wax the last time i got a wax i don't know if i shared this with y'all but that girl burned me so bad oh my god like burn me so bad i had like blisters like those uh wax blisters and i very rarely get those wax blisters baby i had wax blisters she burned me so bad it was like little white bumps everywhere and i'm like okay i'm never going back to her and she was just talking and talking and talking she seemed so cool but baby i felt like she had literally just got out of school because like ma'am i i had told her so many times like it's hot and she was i was like you don't have to like wave it around and like blow on it before you put it she was like yeah i just want i don't want it to get too hard before i put it on the skin baby it's hard wax like let it get a little hard like it's hot i'm telling you you are burning me Man, she burned me so many damn times. And I was getting ready to go back to that European wax. But I was like, you know what? This might be a sign. Because it's my birthday. And, yeah. So, I end up going here. They also do spray tans. And they said their spray tans do not leave that after smell in your skin. So, I do want to try them out for a spray tan, spray tan too. I ain't get it done today just because, like, you know, after you get a spray tan, you can't take a shower for, like, 24 hours. And my, my bed is my bedding is all white and i just yeah it, i would i would forget and then mess around and sit on my couch or something like this so i ain't do it but the sugaring though y'all gotta try this it's called sugared and bronze and it's on oak lawn in the highland park area very very nice like the aesthetics in there is so freaking nice and all they use is lemon water and um sugar that's how they Make the little sugar ball to wax you is lemon, water, and sugar. I kind of want to try it at home and do Miss Girl, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and see. Because, I mean, if it's just lemon, water, and sugar, it, I mean, it shouldn't be that hard. All right, next up, we're getting white toes and a polish change on these nails because it's giving alien. And while I do sometimes feel like I'm from another planet, these nails are not birthday nails. I want a pedicure and polish change. This is gel. And then it's a nude underneath. High volume. High volume. Sixteen carriages driving away while I watch them ride with my dreams away to the summer sunset on a holy night on a long black road all the tears I fight. Sixteen all right i'm loving these nails loving these nails she ate she ate i had to teach her though i had to teach her like hold on since you're not doing it right like gotta be a little bit more meticulous but she ate she ate these up i fuck with it so all we did was a polish change and then i actually got my toes done because yeah they was yeah I don't know what happened, but my French got messed up. So I got white toes on these toes. Lily did my toes again. Lily got it bad about making my big toe real thick. I do not like a thick big toe. I like my toenails very narrow and thin. So I had to like kind of coach her too. Like yeah, thin that joint out. You know what I'm saying? It look, it's looking too wide, but it's it's looking good now. So. Tonight we're probably gonna wear all black because that's just that's just my jam lately. I've been wearing a lot of all black. I got a lot of spring colors, but I've been wearing a lot of all black, so yeah. Nine times out of ten we're gonna wear all black in a jumpsuit. Um and then I got some new YSL shoes, so I'm probably gonna wear those. That's not what I had planned on wearing on my birthday though, but we're probably gonna have the birthday dinner this weekend. I need to go home and make the invitation and then send it to my girls. I just changed my number, cause, try. but this number I'ma keep y'all. So now I'm about to get a massage at my favorite massage spot. 
Zen Thai massage. I missed out on getting my adjustment yesterday because I did change my number and I didn't get the reminder uh, text. So I gotta call them and update my phone number in the system and see if I can go. Maybe after I get the massage, see if I can go get get it around. They gonna close at six. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Maybe tomorrow. So has anyone else, if you're a content creator, have y'all seen that they, they uh, that uh, a lot of these publishing companies that own the copyrights to music? Because if you've noticed in my vlogs, like if I am listening to the actual original song, I only sh use like seven seconds of it. And the reason because is if you use anything over that, you will get a copyright and they'll take all your money for your video. So imagine if you make $6,000 a video. Baby, they gonna take your whole $6,000 for seven seconds, for eight seconds of a song. So now they've come out with this new subscription service that's like Epidemic Sounds that will allow you to use licensed music, copyright music, as long as you pay for the subscription. So it's exactly like Epidemic Sounds, except for these are actual catalogs of like original music so if you want to have like i'm listening to jodeci right now if i want to actually have the original song playing in my video i'm just driving in a car they have a subscription service where now with these publishing companies you can if you're subscribed now you can use this music and they will not take all your money now you use it and you're not subscribed they gonna take your money. It's just like Epidemic Sounds. The 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 um the model is just like Epidemic Sounds, like exactly like it. So um how Epidemic Sounds work? If you once had the subscription, when you use the music, you they not they won't take any of your past um on, on your past videos. They won't take your money right but if you use that licensed song again and your subscription has expired or you've canceled it any future videos they will so umg and sme are now doing it right well i know umg is i don't know if sme but i just like so i don't know if they just fucking with me or maybe the bitch yet umg don't like me i don't know because it's giving feminine energy baby they going through my videos and they are copywriting old videos now that didn't have copyrights at first and i just went and looked and i see umg and sme is on a video together i have never seen it i've never seen like a publishing um company together you know what i'm saying they have like separate parts of the song and they'll copyright separate parts of the video but not together the whole song together so i feel like maybe sme has is doing the same thing oh my god so i'm feeling like like damn am i gonna have to subscribe so these people won't be trying to come after my videos and these are old videos they really ain't even doing numbers like that but still i don't want y'all to get any of my revenue you don't deserve it you don't deserve it for music that's a, a mashup you know what i'm saying like they trying to come after the mashups now because a lot of these mashups are better than the damn original song this shit crazy as hell Some I told you I got 
alcohol poison out tequila so I cannot drink tequila. They even be making espresso martinis with tequila now. I be like, bro, don't, please don't put tequila in my damn espresso martini. Are you out your rabbit ass mind? That is a vodka drink. That tequila strong in there too. What you gonna do tonight? What you talking about? I want to see my boyfriend. Wait, babe. <laughs> you did. Thank you, sir. Very well. Oh my god. I want to put this on, but it's so wrinkled. It's so wrinkled, but it's so cute. This is super wrinkled. Should I wear it anyway? I mean, because at least it's like a uniform wrinkle. You know what I'm saying? Like it's wrinkled, but it's like a a uniform ring because even if I earn it once I like sit down start moving around it's still gonna be it's still gonna get wrinkled anyway so I feel weird okay outfit of the day nice little fun dress where did I get this dress from commence I got this dress from commence of course you know I have on my Steve man Hermes dupes Chanel bag Versace shades and the usual jewelry that I wear every time I go out. We might go get us some new jewelry today cause um, yeah, I know I love me some Fendi jewelry and I don't wanna see what they got new. So we might go to Highland Park and get us some new Fendi jewelry, but yeah. And my fragrance today is Nishane Saffron Colonies and I layered it with a vanilla, a vanilla fragrance from Byredo. So that's what I smell like, and I smell good. So we are about to go and have lunch with Bay. He found a soul food spot. Yeah, I know I love me some soul food. So we're about to go have lunch with him. And lo and behold, there is another package outside of my door. What is this? my fingers whoa in a second i don't know why my damn glasses was so dirty we could go get this car wash though everything dirty chad everything dirty so we about to go get this car wash and act like we're not even here girl i'm gonna rub your body you've been pouring out your love now it's time to pour it back imagine this car is See the back seat real clean. Me stroking your body. Y'all remind me to go to the dentist. I need to go to the dentist to get my teeth clean. So when we get to the house, can y'all remind me to schedule my teeth cleaning? Because I need to schedule me and Karen a teeth cleaning. This tooth is so sensitive and it's bothering me. I need them to x-ray it and tell me what the hell is going on. Cause if I bite, if I bite down on it too hard, it tingle a little bit. We fit to go in Fendi. I'm in the Highland Park Mall. It's so beautiful outside. I think I'm gonna walk around and like window shop a little bit. It's I'm parked right in front of Go Yard. It's like I want to go in Go Yard, but like Go Yard design of their bags just really don't give for me. I don't get why people like it. But at the same time, JD Rockefeller. Baby, I need to read up on Go Yard. What what why is that right there? Why is that on it on that luggage? I need to read up on Go Yard, child. But 
No, they gotta lay lava all over here, Christian Louboutin, all kind of stuff, honey. But you know, I'm gonna go in each and every time. Ermi, all kind of stuff. It's real nice. It's a beautiful day. Strawberries and whipped cream, you know what I mean? And me kissing your body from feet to head. We don't have to be out of here and watch my fingers wall. With a pimped out Gucci suit Them Gucci suits Ain't got no job ain't, 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 But ain't. I stay shy And I stay shy Can't pay my rent I can't pay Cause my all rent. my money spent <laughs> But that's okay Cause I'm still fly that is, I'm so fly Sudden as I had it like me, hey, I'll see the Chevy with the beat like me, hey, I'll see the Chevy with the butterfly dough, stun, stun, just I had it. Tonight, and wherever you know, now that I need you, it's on my pillow, wherever you go, go. To your ocean. It's so pretty outside. They moved the Chanel, so they, I guess they're finished renovating the original store on the other side. But it's closed today. Doesn't open back up until March 16th. What's going on, Highland Park? What's going on? And it is so bright out here, y'all. This concussion is bothering me. This sun and this bright light and this concussion is bothering me. And these shades. I don't know why I can't get them clean, but the glare is bothering me too. It's giving prescription. I hate it. Like, help me, somebody, help me. Okay, Cadillac. Okay, Grandma and your Cadillac. Baby, you know you need you a little central or something. That car is too big for you, ma'am. I need you a little central. A little Equinox. No, that's not it. Uh uh. Baby, get you a gel though. Why all women like driving in long cars? What is that about? My grandma used to have a long gas car, long gas damn Buick. Or was it a Cadillac? She had a long gas car. Baby, if I had a long car like that, I'd be hitting some of everybody's car. Insurance would be through the roof. Why can't I get these damn glasses clean? Now that little boy just rolling around on the floor in front of this store. Now get your ass up out this damn floor now. And people just be letting their kids do any damn thing. Buddy. Buddy, now get your little ass up out the floor, buddy. Because who call you getting back in? With all them damn outside ass germs. People be spitting on the ground and everything. I can't stand to see you. That's one thing I like about Singapore. It's against the law to spit on the ground. I said I need to move here. Because I can't stand. I can't. Oh, God. When you think about how many people spit on the ground, it, it, it make me, when I think about how many people spit on the ground every day, like how much spit I see on the ground, and it be like phlegm in it too. Oh my God, so many germs. I be thinking to myself, why you don't have people take their shoes off when they come in your house? I really should. I really should have people take their shoes off when they come in my house because so many people spit on the ground and people just don't curl. You know what I'm saying? But I'm about to go to the house and lay down for a little bit because I got dinner to go to with one of the girls. And y'all been asking about her for years. She had moved, but y'all gonna see her tonight. I'm surprised y'all. I ain't even gonna say who it is. You just gonna see it. And if you are OG PayPal, then you will know because y'all been asking about her and where she at. And I don't tell people business. I don't get on my damn i need to take them zara pants back i don't feel like it i'm done i'm done for the day child shit that soul food hit me an hour ago i was i really was falling asleep in bmw like i got the itis for real that's so i had the smother pork chop i ain't even show y'all my food i had the smother pork chop with collard greens and candy yams and smother pork chop over uh mashed potatoes so good fine with a sweet tea so good 
it gave very much Mississippi soul food. Everything tastes like how my grandma cook it. It was good. It was really good. It's called Soulful Street Bites out in Addison. It was real good. And after I ate it, like you can see it on my face. I'm sleepy as hell. I don't know what it is about soul food to make you so sleepy. I'm so doggone sleepy. Turn right onto Sanderson Hill Street. I know Alright, so we are about to go and meet up with the girl. Y'all gonna be so excited to see her. Um, we're going to Mexican Sugar. Okay, body. Okay, body. Natural too. You better give it, girl. We about to go meet up with sis at Mexican Sugar. Baby, one thing about it, the people is gonna set up a date at a Mexican restaurant. It's good that I like Tex-Mex now and Mexican restaurants when I first moved to Dallas. Ooh, I was so tired of it. I was like, where is the soul food? Oh my God. But now I done been here seven years, so shit. I be cool with it now. At first, anytime somebody recommended, like, wanted to meet up at a Mexican spot or, like, they uh suggested a Mexican spot, I'm like, no. Can we go somewhere else? I feel like that's all I eat. It ain't nothing but text mix here. You can't help it. So now, I'm used to it. Because one thing about it, baby, they going to meet up. People going to people gonna set up a meet up or, or a dinner or a date at a Mexican restaurant. It just is what it is. At this point, I feel like Dallas is North Mexico. Because even when you go to cer certain restaurants, you ask for sweet tea. No, we don't have sweet tea. We have unsweet. Baby, this is the South. This is the South. This is not Mexico. This is the South. They had slaves here. Where is the sweet tea? Look who we have here. Well, well, well. Hello. They've been asking about you, girl. <laughs> Where's Jasmine? I'm like, she moved. Like, I'm not going to, like, give a play-by-play -play of everybody that be in my videos just because you don't see them in my videos. She moved. Like, that's crazy. You started vlogging, girl. I did. What you be vlogging on? My phone. Do we get lobster enchiladas and shrimp ceviche? Lobster enchiladas. Yeah, and the shrimp ceviche. So is that the shrimp? She got marinated shrimp. Perfect. Slept somewhere because it was like a link medium or something. Everything comes soon up as red when I try to put my in there. It might be like a little dad to show you that they finished importing. If they don't finish importing, then the media is going to be red. Yeah. As you can see, I just got out the hospital. Char, I ended up getting food poisoning last night. That was so bad, I was, I had blood in my urine. So I hope y'all not eating, I'm sorry. Cause I know a lot of y'all be like drinking wine and eating and stuff like that, I apologize. It was bad, it was bad. It was real bad, like I was in so much pain, y'all. I was in so much pain. <clears throat> My boyfriend took me to the ER at five o'clock this morning. Cause I woke up in the middle of the night and first I had to pee. And then I laid back down. And I was like, shit, my stomach hurt. Let me get, let me go to the bathroom again. I kept going till I couldn't go no more, but my body kept like trying to, you know, Push it out of me, y'all. That's the most painful shit. You think dry heaving hurt? <laughs> Do it the other way around. Oh my god, so painful. So I just called the restaurant to tell them, and he was like, "Call the general manager." I just want to sleep. I just want to rest. I feel so bad. Like I have been up all morning. I slept a little bit in the hospital room, but it was so damn cold in there. Plus, like. 
they took they took my temperature so I didn't have a fever. My my temp was 97.9. But baby, they had it so damn cold up in there. I went to the VA. They had it so damn cold up in there. I was freezing. They brought me a warm blanket. And can I just say, let me just say this, because I definitely wanted to mention this. Everybody at the VA hospital here in Dallas was so nice. First of all, like I said, I went at five o'clock this morning, so it wasn't busy at all. I, I think I walked in, it was like one person in front of me. So it was really quick, but I when I say I had to keep I, I kept using the bathroom because like it like it was blood in my urine, so it was it was it was extremely painful. Like this was I have had food poisoning before where it was coming out like I was vomiting. This one probably took the cake of it, and that one was a pretty painful one. Like I had to call um, 911 and like the ambulance to like come get me. Maybe you couldn't tell me somebody didn't poison me. Like I feel like somebody poisoned poison me, but I ain't gonna go into it. I ain't gonna go into detail. But you couldn't tell me that uh, I, I wasn't poisoned because it just that's what it gave. Anyway, this one I would definitely say just because it caused other issues in like the blood in my urine this one definitely took the cake back because when i seen that blood in my urine you know i am a googler you know i am a googler like oh my lord so many things popped up when i when i put that in i was like oh god do i got bladder cancer do i got kidney stones do i have a kidney failure do i have a uh, kidney infection like what is going on because my back head started hurting and i'm like oh my lord and then i did feel chills this morning like one minute i was cold so i put my robe on and then i got hot and i started sweating i'm like oh my lord <sighs> I'm coming home, Elizabeth. <sighs> oh, like I had started getting so scared, y'all. And then I, so in the middle of the night, I, I went to wake up Karen. She got scared and she was like, Mom, no. I was like, I'm going to be okay. I'm just going to go to the emergency room. Baby, fit to take me to the emergency room. I'll be bed. Don't worry about it. I think I was there for about four hours. Yep, I went in like, I think it was like six something. No, it was probably like seven something. Cause I, I really tried to wait it out. And I was gonna like, cause I had went and got some like, you know, pain meds and stuff from CVS real quick. Cause it's a CVS, 24 hour CVS right by me. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna wait it out because I couldn't sit down. You know what I'm saying? Like it hurt to sit down. So, I was like, I'm just going to wait it out till I'm able to like sit comfortably and like drive because the VA hospital is like a 15 minute drive. So I'm like, I'm just going to wait it out. My boyfriend was like, baby, come on. Cause I was screaming so loud that, and it hurt so bad. Like it just hurt to use the bathroom that I was like, okay, I'm going to go to the second floor. You know what I'm saying? So I could just let have, you know what I'm saying? Cause I need to, I'm very, I ain't gonna lie. When I'm in pain and I have a high pain tolerance, but that type of pain, I need to holler. Like anything revolving my womb, bladder, all of that, stomach, I need to holler. I, I need to let it out. Anything else I think I could take. Like, even if I was like, anything else I probably would be able to take, but in the reproductive area, for some reason, like my stomach, gastrointestinal, if I'm in pain, it's coming out. Like I'm screaming. So I was like, let me go to the second floor. And man, I looked down in that damn toilet and I saw blood. I screamed. And he came downstairs and he was just like, come on, let's go and go to the ER. And he was up from the time that I had woke up at like four o'clock in the morning. He wouldn't, he couldn't go back to sleep because I kept having to use the restroom and it was like violent. You know what I'm saying? Like it was bad. So I was like, okay, let me just, okay, yeah, let me, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, let you take me to the ER. But everything's okay. They gave me some antibiotics, and I had, like, IVs and whatnot, whatnot. So I'm okay now. Like, I'm feeling better, but I still feel like shit. This has been a very interesting birthday week. It has. So I'm hoping, like, the rest of the week is better. Um... My birthday was good. The day before my birthday was good. Last last week was a little tumultuous, but it is what it is. But, yeah. 
this how we bring it in 41 so i've been looking at places to go all day because i'm still trying to figure out where the hell i'm gonna take myself for my birthday and i have come up with a few places so right now we're we're um scaling it down to two, two places both take two days to get there though so decisions decisions okay let's open up some birthday gifts so i got a few pair of shoes i got these saint laurent shoes they're so cute so these are sling bags with the logo heel i did watch a video that said logo heels are going out of style but because YSL and St. Laurent were the innovators to the logo heel. I don't see that happening anytime soon. And as opposed to getting the strappy sandal, I decided to get the sling backs. I thought when I tried these shoes on that these would be more comfortable than the original shoe. Um, I did size up and get these in a 39 and a half just so it, that strap wouldn't be as tight over my pinky toe. And oh my God, y'all. So I still feel like even with this like after wearing them so long because the first night that i wore them they were comfortable the second night that i wore them oh my lord like as soon as i put them on i don't know what happened to my toe job but i would have to put like a little cushion underneath that pinky toe part because it hurts these 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 hurt too so cute though oh my lord so so cute the saint laurent were supposed to be my birthday shoe right and they still might because i might wear them to dinner i don't know they hurt me but then i end up seeing these dolce and gabbana shoes so i end up picking these up and honey so these are like they're similar to the tom ford lock and key sounder but these are just a little bit more i think flavor they got a little bit more flavor you actually get a key with the shoe in the lock i don't have a gold shoe they have that dg on the back and they don't have the same heel as a tom ford and these are just a little bit more in my opinion daintier um and classier i love the gold so i did pick these up as well and i have quite a few things that I can wear this shoe with because I have been in need of a gold shoe. But one thing about me when I go shoe shopping, if the shoe does not fit, and what I mean by that, like not fit physically, if it does not fit in my wardrobe, like if it's not the perfect gold, if it does not complement my leg, my ankle, my feet, I'm not gonna buy it. Like I'm just not gonna buy a gold shoe just to have a gold shoe because I already did that once with Fendi and I still barely wear those damn gold shoes. And yeah, they just don't go with everything. So then we got something from Le Labo. Let's see her. Oh, this is from Jasmine. This is from my manager. It says, happy birthday, Peyton, with love, Jasmine, at Table Rock. And she got me the Ambroxide 17 candle. This candle smells a lot like another 13 scent. I hope that that one is a better one than I've gotten because the ones that I've gotten from Le Labo, they didn't project. And I think I got like a sample in here too. What is this? Tay Noir 29. They gave me a sample of Tay Noir 29. And we love Tay Noir. Wait, are you kidding me? So I got some Renee Calvi Calvilla shoes. Oh my God, these are them. They came so fast. Oh, I gotta try them on. These are so freaking gorgeous. So 
So we got the Renee Calvillas. So, so sexy. Ain't they some sexy shoes? Oh, we got something from St. Laurent. Mm. It says, happy birthday, friend. I hope you have an amazing birthday month. Love, Ray Anthony. So it's a bracelet. He got me a St. Laurent bracelet. This is gonna be so cute. Oh wow, I love that. I love that. Thank you, right? And we got something from Versace. So this is one of their new scents from their niche line. I talked about it earlier in the vlog, but I didn't open it. So let's I think this might be it. Yeah, I think this might be it. I, I think I sprayed it on this. Damn, what do this smell like? This smells so familiar. Damn, what does this smell like? This smell, this actually smells like something I got. It smells like Instant Crush. This smells like Instant Crush, so I hope I, oh, I hope that's not what this is because when I was in the store, I couldn't put my finger on it. But now, now that I'm smelling the card, it smells exactly like Instant Crush. Exactly. Maybe I hope Versace ain't just scammed me like this. This is what the bottle looked like. I don't sit up here and get excited about something I already get, Lord. Help me. Yep. Yep. Child. Ain't nobody scam me but myself. But speaking of perfume, we also got something from the scent room. I've opened it already, but it is called Santal Blonde. And this is by Atelier Materi. This one, while it does smell like something I have, this does smell, I'm gonna tell you what it smells like. It smells like Mason Cavelli's Papyrus Molecular mixed with Santal Volcanique. It's like a perfect combination. This is what this smells like. I love it though. Very unisex, very light, crispy, great for spring and summer. Love the packaging. What I've noticed about a lot of these perfume companies, they don't put a lot of they don't put a lot of love and thought into their packaging. You know what I'm saying? But the price of the the scent will still be up in the almost three hundred dollars. And I'm sitting here like. But I'm struggling to come up with like a beautiful bottle. Like I already, you know, I I designed my own bottle, but how much it's gonna cost to produce? It's a bit much. Like it's get sure. So yeah, we back to the drawing board on my bottle. Like maybe we should scale it back a little bit. Bring it back. Scale it down. We're doing too much.